A summer Saturday and the 2020 Democratic candidates are out on the campaign trail this weekend ahead of next week's debate. This is the latest Fox News poll showing President Trump trailing Joe Biden by 10 percentage points with the former vice president taking 49 percent of the vote head to head against the president if the election were held today. With that, we bring in Michael Knowles, host of the aptly named Michael Knowles Show, show heard on whatever podcast platform you desire around the world. Uh, ugh, 10 points. That's not a good that's not a good sign. I heard the president wasn't too happy about no, that. No, you think? Uh, yeah, I, I don't. We, wait, do we have it. We have the president's response, I think. Okay. Yep. There we'll put it up. Fair to say he wasn't happy. Uh, here it is. The polls have always been terrible to me. They had me losing big to crooked Hillary, have me down to sleepy Joe, even considering then he goes on to list all of his accomplishments. <laughs> that's true. I think I mean, down down by 10 with the economy as good as it is not not I, great. I just don't buy it is the issue. I mean, there was a month or two ago, there were all of those polls that showed that head to head Cory Booker was beating Donald Trump. If you think Cory Booker is going to beat Donald Trump, I've got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. Mm. I think if the election were held today, Donald Trump would win 57 states. He's got two real vulnerabilities. He's got the economy. If the economy falters, obviously that's going to be trouble. And he's got immigration. This was a central issue of his campaign, and he got great news this week. He actually got great news on two fronts. 2016 was about judges and immigration, and he got great news on immigration from the judges that he appointed in that 5-4 decision. Yeah. They say he can finally build some new wall after that CBP it report. Didn't, it, didn't, it did not bode well for him when there was the headline, not one mile, not one inch of new wall has been built. This is a real issue because President Trump has fulfilled a lot of his campaign promises, but this was a central issue. It if he can't build one inch of wall before 2020, if he doesn't have a path forward, I think that's going to weaken some support for him. But fortunately, it looks as though we may get 100 miles and maybe not the nearer future, but there's a path forward. You don't think it matters who he's running against is what I'm getting from you. Not exactly. I mean, of all of these candidates, the question you have to ask is which one is actually going to beat him? You could have any sort of poll say, he, you know, Joe Biden wins 80 percent of the vote. But do we really think that Joe Biden, if he manages to even get his walker out and get along the campaign trail. Oh, hold on. In, in, fair, in fairness to Biden, look at look at where he stands right now. He's almost double Bernie Sanders in the real clear politics mm -hmm. average. We have our own polling out in terms of where where he is as well. Everyone said, hey, Kamala Harris, her attack is going to knock him off, etc. That hasn't happened. We're very early in, right? We've had one debate. We have 11 more of these debates coming up. Uh, she got a pretty good swing in on Joe Biden then. And he just seems too old. He doesn't seem to have the stamina. I think Barack Obama was pretty wise not to endorse him early on. And I think that tells you something. Is there a reason for caution among Republicans and among Trump supporters? Look, this time four years ago, everyone was saying Donald Trump's too crazy. He's too far right. He's too bombastic. He annoys too many people. He'll never be elected president. He's never going to be. He was number one in the polls, and he came out on top. One thing you learn, especially in the age of Trump, is never say never because right. those things get, I'm not saying he doesn't have any vulnerabilities, but he has somehow, like a wizard, made his opponents oppose all of the things Americans cherish. There was that poll that just came out from Gallup that immigration is the number one issue for Americans. Another poll showed that law enforcement is the third most trusted institution in the United States, below small business and the military. You now have Democrats running on open borders, running against law enforcement. They're running against the American flag. Lag. That is not a good look to win over middle America. We know from the Trump campaign that whoever ends up with the Democratic nomination, they're going to brand as a socialist who's pro-abortion and pro-open borders. That's the playbook no matter who it is. Looking in terms of who it's going to be, we have the debate cards coming up for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday night in Detroit. Anything stand out to you in this as we look at Tuesday night? Well, what you're seeing, I mean, the, the candidates to watch, obviously, are, are Elizabeth Warren and uh, Kamala Harris. Elizabeth Warren has done a pretty good job of slow and slowly and steadily coming up. She's there. got a plan for everything. She's got a plan for everything, and it happens to be Bernie Sanders' plan because yeah. he's transformed that party. I think she's the one to watch. I think she's, she's crafty. She appeals to the establishment wing and to the progressive wing. And she actually could... So is, is this threat. Elizabeth Warren's debate in the way that Kamala Harris was last time around? It's up to Elizabeth Warren if it is, but it certainly has the opportunity for If that. we put that full screen up, 
up again of the second debate night. This is Wednesday night. You might call it the main card because you've got Booker there. You've got Biden there. You also have Kamala Harris there. If Biden survives this and he comes out swinging, as he says he will, does your opinion change? Uh, yes. Uh, Biden has had some uh, endurance and some stability so far, even though we're very early on. I think really the one to watch here is Cory Booker. The question is, if, if it, the situation had been reversed and Booker were the one on stage at the main debate last time, Time. Could he have gotten the, the racial slug in at Joe Biden that Kamala Harris did? He already did. did a couple of times. He basically called Biden a racist. Mm -hmm. But can he do it to his face? Can he get it right? Can he really land that punch? Hmm. We'll see. I think it's, it's going to be an opportunity for him. It may be do or die for Cory Booker because he's been languishing toward the bottom of the polls for months and months now. Yeah, he, he, he has been. And so he was evidently offering money to charity to shave people's heads a couple of days ago. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> but it, it, it did go viral on Twitter. So there is that. Uh, Michael, good to see you as always. Appreciate it. Good we'll to check see back you. in with you.